I am Ryan Kolbarsh. I'm a solutions engineer for Crease Holdings. Crease is a networking company in which we take old legacy devices and enable them to join the IP network and then take that data and send it over any network that you have available and then from that you can send it to any data centers so you can do analytics. Here at Cisco Live we are demonstrating the abilities of our software product Stitch to enable the network protocol translation between the protocols of Ethernet and Serial using the data distribution units given to us by DRS. So what we're able to do is take old legacy devices, uh, enable them to join the IP network, and then whatever network that you have available, we're then able to route that data across that protocol and then give it to wherever place you're trying to send it. So in this case, it's very important because if you have only serial uh, protocol, you can then translate that to any other layer 2 to 7 plus, and then communicate with any other device uh, on that network. So one of the use cases in which this R product can do is that it can enable devices to protocol translate in the sense that we can take these communication devices and connect them through Wi-Fi to these different computers. Once they did that, these computers will then interchange protocols from Ethernet to serial, whatever you have available, and then pump back into the, into the cell phones to using Wi-Fi. And so from that case, we can uh, manipulate any network that you have available to be able to communicate. Another example use case is the ability to network translate uh, moving targets in the sense of, of cruiser ships that come to port, they're using SATCOM when they're out in the ocean, cellular when they're a little bit closer in the coast, and then Wi-Fi when they're actually in port. So what we're able to do is network translate seamlessly between these technologies. And so that while this, this ship is moving from network to network to network, it's able to efficiently see what is the most efficient route that you can send the data, and then it will just ma automatically connect. 80% of the world's devices are not IP enabled and so it's very hard to talk to them when they have these proprietary protocols. What we enabled people to do is take that RS-232 data and then give it to any other type of protocol that you have available and enable it to the IP network so that it's all in one place. These data distribution units are currently in over 400,000 of the Humvees in the military. We were able to put our software with these products and enable them to have a very adaptive communication network. In an example, if you have two Humvees driving next to each other in the desert and one of their SATCOM links gets hit by a projectile and they're no longer able to talk to Central Command, what's able to happen is that it can connect through Wi-Fi to the other Humvee, which can then contact the ground command through its SATCOM port. And so in that sense, you're able to create an adaptive mobile network over multiple protocols to get all your communication flawlessly and seamlessly across. A key advantage of our solution is the uh, adaptiveness of our software. So it's constantly checking for what is the most efficient uh, route to send this data across. Depending on how much data you're trying to send, what is the, the bandwidth of the pipe you're trying to send, what is the latency of the data that you're sending as well, and through that be able to correctly change and adapt to the network that's already available.